What's up, Young Village? Today is the sixth episode of Mom, Moms on a Mission. I am so excited for today's topic because it's one of my goals that I had for 2019, and I can see all those things coming into fruition already. So I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers, and I want to say, hey, if you like what you see in the content from Mom, make sure you press that subscribe button. Hey, so if you checked out my first vlog, the link is down in the description box. You can see, oh, aren't they cute? Oh, I love them so much. I've upgraded, as you can see from the first episode. I'm so excited about the bigger and better things that are coming along this year for 2019. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. I'm here to give you my motivation, inspiration, encouragement, get your week started off right. So let's hop into it. As you can see, today's topic is what? Dream big. Dreaming big. That was one of my goals for this year, to let God do what he does. One of my goals for Dreaming Big this year was to show my children exactly how God works. We serve a big God and I wanted to have my children to be a part of that. I wanted to show them how to dream big regardless of the current situation, regardless of what things may look like. I wanted to show them how to dream and to ask and to believe and to trust God for things and to watch them manifest and to watch them grow and oh my gosh, like I'm so excited for this year. Not only for myself, for my family, but for those around us, for our, you know, our natural families, our spiritual families. I just want to get you guys pumped because you can count and you can trust God to get things done. Stay focused on the dreams and the aspirations that you have inside of you. Write them down. It's nothing wrong with that. What? I need to write it down. Yes, write it down. Make it plain. Make it clear. Make it detailed, you know, so God knows exactly what you're looking for, exactly what you're trying to do, because he never changes. He gave us a better covenant through Christ Jesus. Uh, but I don't know if God can, like, do that. I don't know if, you know, he wants to do that for me. Don't put limits on God. Stop making your dream this small. God wants to advance us in every area of our lives. He says that in Isaiah 55 and 8. His thoughts are not our thoughts, and his ways are not our ways. God, why would you say that if we're made in your image? Why? Because a lot of the times we take our circumstances and we take our situations and we try to limit him and try to condense him, and we don't have these big, elaborate dreams that he wants us to have. So we need to get on God's level. We need to start thinking like God and be more of the God that he has on the inside of us. God cannot be exhausted. He has no limit. He can do anything. We might say, oh, maybe we can get this big house or well, maybe this costs too much. God is not asking you for costs. He's not asking you for prices. He's just asking you to believe. Just believe. Your dreams and your desires are so important to God, not only for you, but for your children and for those people around you, those people that you can help. Just the start of this year already in January, I put I brought some things before God and I told him that, God, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to do it. As long as it's according to your will, I know it can get done. And just this month already, in these past couple of weeks, God has been showing me that as I just believe that all the things, all the dreams and desires that I have will come to pass. And what I've asked him for just in January was something small. And as he continued to show me those things, my confidence began to grow, to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And knowing that all the things that he is showing me, all the dreams and aspirations that he has down deep on the inside of me, they will come to pass. Dream big. Nurture that dream. Trust him. He can do that, you know. I tell my kids all the time that they are superheroes. So this year, allow yourself, show your children how to tap into those superpowers. Believe in God and know that the dreams and desires that he has placed inside of you, they can and will come to pass. Nothing is impossible for God. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Stop dreaming so small. Dream big. Start that new business. Buy that new house. Start that new YouTube channel. That's what I did. You can do it. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get new episodes of Mom every single week. I'll see you next Monday.